Mr. Secretary General, permanent representatives, CFS stakeholders, colleagues from FAO, IFAD, and WFP, ladies and gentlemen. It's a pleasure to welcome all of you to FAO, and in particular, UN Secretary General, Mr. Ban Ki-moon. Unfortunately, this meeting takes place during the FAO Regional Conference for Latin America and the Caribbean. And as much as I would have been honored to personally attend, duty comes first. Nevertheless, I would like to thank you for taking time during your mission to Rome to visit FAO, to speak to our membership, to the staff, and to the stakeholders of the CFS, an intergovernmental committee in FAO. Mr. Secretary General, your presence in FAO reflects the importance of food security. It is at the heart of FAO's mandate. You are a strong supporter of this cause. Zero Hunger Challenge, you launched in the Rio Plus 20 conference, is helping catalyze a global movement to eliminate hunger and malnutrition. Ending hunger is central to the Sustainable Development Goals that are being debated. Sustainable development and the food security once again took center stage with the new IPCC report. The report shows that climate change can reconfigure the planet's food production scenario. And it points to the fact that climate change reintroduces an element of uncertainty. We have enough food today but we need to adapt and shift to more sustainable food system to ensure food supply tomorrow. That's why FAO takes climate change into consideration in our, our strategic objectives. That's why FAO supports the efforts to establish a global alliance on climate smart agriculture. And that is why we are supporting the Climate Summit you will host in September 2014. I want to congratulate you for taking the leadership in mobilizing the global community to respond to this challenge. We all look forward to hearing your views. I want to close by thanking you once again for your visit to FAO.